Welcome back everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. And today's video is going to be about me calling out those individuals, audiophiles, that claim to have giant killers of amplification. Before I do that and before I go on, please subscribe turn on your notifications, you know what to do. Let's keep this channel going. All right, so let's let's get started. If you guys have followed my channel, I had released a video in which I was calling out basically anyone out there, anybody who had an amplifier that was relatively cheap, for lack of a better word, that was easily killing the high-end offerings, such as the amplifiers that you have notoriously seen on my channel. And finally, we have something here. We have what seems to be a very, very, very special amplifier. And uh, I wanna congratulate the person that sent this to me. I wanna thank, first and foremost, I want to thank the person, Russell, who sent this amplifier in for us to do a proper shootout between an affordable offering like this and the craziness that I typically have in my room. So, what is it? Let's go, let's check it out. So this is a Class D amplifier from Italy. Rouge is the name of the company, Rouge Audio. Okay, it is a class D design. It's 600 watts per channel into eight ohms and it doubles down to 1200 into four ohms and so forth. As you know, this is about, the MSRP of this amplifier is approximately, I believe $1,700. There are multiple options that you can choose from. You guys are seeing right now the specifications on your screen to be clear on what the amplifier is about you are seeing also on the right side of the screen uh, the different options that you can select you can select different binding posts different xlr inputs uh, even the uh, the even the power socket um, you, the power input you can actually select um, um, higher quality these uh, higher quality piece this amplifier is, it has a lot of conversation out and about. There's a lot about this amplifier that people are noticing. It is said to be an incredible amplifier. But you guys know, we have to put it through the motions. My promise has been that I will do my best to accommodate it, put it on a proper stand, connect it with the right, what I feel should be the right pre-amplifier for it and the right cables. As you guys know, my transparent cables are tuned for a specific set of amplifiers and pre-amplifiers that I have here. So more than likely, I will not be using my transparent cables for the shootout. I will go back to what you guys have seen on my channel, the cheap standard speaker cables that I have successfully used in the past. Got pretty good results, I would say, when I use them. And I'm gonna use Wire World XLRs. If I happen to not have a power cord for this piece that I can use, aftermarket power cord, I will go ahead and stick to the stock power cord. But to make it fair, I will also stick to stock power cords on the amplifiers uh, of my choice. Now, what I would like for you guys to do, my audience, on the comments below, please, what I would like for you guys is to let me know what you feel should be the amplifier to go up against this. Should I use my VAC 450 IQs? Or should I use my undisclosed amplifiers that you guys have seen under some towels recently? Or should I use my Constellation Centaur Monos? What should I use? Okay, give me, your, give me your feedback underneath and tell me the reason why. In addition to that, we have to select the right pre-amplifier for the shootout. 
I have a Solution 725 at the moment. I also have the undisclosed preamplifier, and I also have an Audio Research Ref6 SE. And let's not forget that I can also use my MSB DAC as a preamplifier if I choose to. So we have four different options with regards to amplification. If you're all, if you're all, if you guys were to ask me what I would select for the shootout, I would use the undisclosed setup. I would use the undisclosed amp with the matching undisclosed preamplifier because we know that's a perfect match. Okay, and use also the undisclosed preamplifier with this piece. To me, that seems pretty fair. But I want you guys to have the opportunity to present your opinion, your thoughts, your reasoning on the comments below. I want to get you guys engaged on with this shootout. I want you guys to give me feedback. It's very important. I want to take your opinion in, into consideration for the shootout. I want to make this as fair and square as possible. Okay. Um, maybe we are extremely blown away with what we're about to hear from this. I am open. If this amplifier t blows me away, I am here front and center. I will come out and say exactly that. If it doesn't spread its wings and it flies for me, I will be very raw and honest as well and tell the truth. Okay. But what I do not want to get into is, <clears throat> excuse me, the improper setup of this amplifier. I think I got to give it a right, the right shootout. I have, to, I think I have to give it the right chance, the right opportunity for it to do what it can do and see what it is capable of. Um, also remember that everything here matters. Everything, cables, amps, preamps, you name it, it matters. And I am going to make an attempt at also doing a volume level match on both presentations. I am thinking about 82 decibels to around 85. Maybe you guys can give me an opinion. Is that okay? That's typically what I have been using, 82 to about 85 dBs, average decibel level. If you guys think that's pretty good, I'll go ahead and roll with that. The purpose of this, guys, is to begin to open doors to more affordable offerings such as this to see if indeed we are, or I am, I should say, overlooking product that is priced over here right i am mainly focusing on product that's up here but i could be shocked and select something that's priced over here that's what i'm trying to do so although this pre this amplifier is only approximately seventeen hundred dollars i have power cords here that are 10 times the price of this okay so this will be right now the cheapest component that i have Okay, uh, in my two channel rig. So I hope you guys are looking forward to this video. I am thinking I'm gonna shoot it over the weekend and then hopefully post it in about a week or two. Okay, I want this thing to have its opportunity to shine. And if it doesn't, or if it does, you guys will know about it. But for now, please leave me your comments underneath to see what you think should be the proper setup or the the system that we should be using here to make this happen, okay? Just be very fair when you give me your opinion. That's the only thing I am asking for. I'm asking you all to, when you, when you make your recommendation, have some common sense with what you're recommending, okay? Don't just spit out components. Think hard before you give me your opinion if what you're saying makes sense and why. Okay, I will contemplate all, every comment. I'm gonna read every single comment underneath. I promise you guys, okay? Whoever gives me feedback, I will make sure to hit you back and respond to you guys, whether I agree or I disagree, okay? Thank you for your time. This is the first shootout in which you guys are going to have a say. And I am really, really excited to share with you guys and let you guys give me your opinion. Chime in, interact with me, okay? Stay tuned for more. Do not miss this.